The story is told of a wealthy businessman and his coachman who stopped over at a hotel in an inn for Shabbos. The Gvir comes in, he orders all the best food in town, he's got everything ready for Shabbos, and the coachman, Nebach, orders a little piece of fish, that's what he's got. Then the two of them get ready for Shabbos, so each one goes to the mikveh. The Gvir comes out of the mikveh, and uh, someone, a coachman, another one, is stuck. He says, can you help me get out? Look, I'm in the mud of here. He says, absolutely. The pair says, Ozev Tazavima, that's in our parasha. I'm going to help you. So he pushes and pushes and he gets muddy all over and he gets so dirty. And after half hour of trying, the guy's still stuck in the mud and he didn't help him. They both come to shul that evening. And uh, all the kaptsonim, all the paupers in town heard that this guy ordered the greatest meal in town. They all want to come join him. So they come ask him, we be invited. But they look around, they see one guy's wearing muddy clothing and the other one is dressed beautiful, immaculate. So they said, well, who's who? Who's the Gvir? And they go over to the coachman and they ask him, can you invite us? Now he's a Mach Nizarchim. Of course I can. Terror says, you've got to be Mach Nizarch. He invites them and he comes and he has this beautiful meal. The Gvir is sitting by himself, nobody, no guests. And the other guy has a beautiful piece of fish and he cuts it up into ten. And he's so nice and he gives each one a piece of fish. But every single person walked out of there hungry. And this is what we call for Blonjet and Neshamas. You see, it's wonderful to do mitzvahs. But which mitzvah is your mitzvah? What's your calling? What are you good at? And do that. If, you're, if the gvir would have been inviting the guests, he would have given them what they needed. And if the coachman would have gone out there and helped the, the other guy who was stuck in the wagon driver, he would have been able to actually help him, not the other way around. If you're a Rosh Hashiva, teach Torah. Don't sit there and give out tzedakah when you don't have money to give. If you're a big gvir and you have a lot of money, don't say, I'm, learning, I'm, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm learning Torah, I can't give out money. Everyone's got to learn Torah, everyone's got to give money. But shine in the beautiful area that God gave you, in what you're good at. We're all so amazing, we're all so special at what God gave us. But do it, shine. Don't be a for and a